Hi guys, it's Andy here from DreamWars.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how to create this uh, flash based image gallery. So, as you can see, you can just click on the different images and they fade in like so. And there's also an, au uh, an autoplay feature or button in which it just cycles through the images and a pause button. Okay? So, I'm just going to be showing you how to make this in flash. So first you need to uh, create this interface, um, I made mine in Photoshop but I would recommend that you make yours in Fireworks if you have it because uh, there's a significant loss of quality when you import from Photoshop to Flash and there's less of a drop in quality when you import from Fireworks to Flash. This only took us two or three minutes, if you want you can make yours look a lot nicer than this one. Um, here I have a pause button and here I have the play button as well. So I'm going to open up Flash, create a new uh, action script 2.0 uh, file and I'm just going to go to my properties tab here and I'm just going to set the size to 700 by 700 pixels because that's how big my interface is. You can set yours to whatever you want though. I'm just going to center this, zoom out and let's just uh, make this a bit smaller. Okay, first thing we're going to do is press Ctrl R or Command on a Mac and then um, just import the interface image to the stage here it is um, I'm going to call this layer interface and I'm just going to press a little padlock here to lock the layer because we don't need to edit this we just want it to stay there then we're going to create a new layer call this layer buttons and then we're just going to import uh, our autoplay button I'm just going to drop this down here and our pause button like so, just drop it down next to it and I'm also going to import our thumbnails the, these thumbnails are going to be the ones who we can click on uh, to load the images as you can see this is too big so I'm just going to use a transform panel here and I'm just going to scale it down to about 50% 50, 50 like so just do whatever size suits you I'm just going to drop it here and then I'm just going uh, to import my other ones I'm just going to drop it down to 50% put it in there next to it and we'll do the same thing with this one as well I'm only going to show you with uh, three images because it's going to be whoops it's going to be uh, quicker this is this tutorial will probably be about uh, two parts or something like that okay so I'm just going to drag these into roughly the center I'm just going to make this quick alright then we're going to create a new layer and we're going to call that layer images and then we're going to click on the first frame and we're going to go to actions and we're going to type in stop opening and closing brackets followed by a uh, semicolon there and that basically just means that the animation will stop on that frame okay and then we're just going to grab our text tool from our uh, toolbar here and then we're just I'm just going to type in select an image below like so uh, you might want to center that. I just want to do this quickly so that this uh, video doesn't drag on too long. Okay, so if we compile it by pressing Control and Enter or Command and Enter on a Mac, this is what we've got so far. Okay, whoops. Now we are just going to go to uh, our image layer and insert a blank keyframe and then go beneath these and just insert frames here by pressing F5 just so that they're visible. Go back to our image layer, make sure we've got the second frame selected, press Ctrl R, Command on a Mac to import the image to the stage, and we're just going to import our first image. Okay, don't replace the existing image. Alright, we're just going to drop that there, then we're going to click on this and we're going to press F8 to convert it to a symbol, or right click convert symbol, and convert it to a graphic, type graphic, and I'm not going to bother naming it, but you probably should because it's good practice, just so that you know what everything is. Then we're going to double click to, uh, go to start editing this uh, graphic, okay, and then I'm just going to insert a keyframe here, and then we're just going to select all these frames, right click, create classic tween, click on the first frame, and then select the graphic, and then just, uh, whoops, make sure it's a graphic, and then go to color effect, style, alpha, and set it to 0%. And then if we hit enter here, we can see that we've just got it to fade in now. Alright, just going to drop that down. Then we're going to click here to get uh, go out of this symbol, and uh, just go back into scene 1. 
and then we're just going to click on this frame here and just press F5 uh, nine times. Click here, and as we can see, it's uh, completely faded in. Okay, and then right click, insert keyframe, and then we're just going to insert frames on the layers below as well so they're visible. And then we're going to select this frame, uh, this keyframe, go to actions, and just use the stop function that we used before. Then we're going to click on this button here, this uh, little thumbnail, press F8 to convert it to a symbol. We're going to make the type button, and I'm not going to bother naming it, you can if you want. Uh, click on it, go to actions button, then go on, open in bracket, release, close in bracket, semi, um, sorry, open in curly brace, enter, go to and play, make sure that and play have um, capitals at the start. Then open in bracket, 2, that means frame 2, close in bracket, semicolon, and close the curly braces. And this basically just means that on uh, when we click on it, or well, on release of a mouse, uh, of a mouse button, it will go to and play uh, frame 2. Okay, go back to our timeline here. And let's just press control and enter to compile it, and let's see what happens. So we'll click on this, and as you can see, it just fades in, like so. And... We're basically just going to repeat that process now. We're going to insert a blank keyframe here, and then just insert frames here, and then we're just going to import our next image to the stage by pressing Control R. Okay, and I'm going to scale this down so that it fits, like so, and I'm going to roughly center it, and then I'm just going to use the same process. Oops, actually, I want to make it a graphic, not a button use the same process that I used before. What have we done here? Alright then, sorry about that, we've just made sure that we've converted it to a graphic, then we're going to double click and then we're just going to insert a keyframe at frame 10 and then just create the uh, mo classic tween here go on the first one and set the alpha to zero percent like so and it'll fade in alright and there it is and now again just press uh, make sure that there's nine frames in front of this like so so that it fades completely in okay and then just insert the keyframe here and again use stop Okay, and then just convert this to a button, and then we're just going to copy and paste the code from this one. Except this time, it's going to be it's going to go to and play uh, frame twelve. Okay, so frame twelve. All right, and now if we compile this, we'll see what we've got, and it just fades in like so. All right then, um, I'm just going to pause the video for a moment, and I'm just going to repeat the steps that we just did on the very last thumbnail, okay. Alright, here we are. So if I compile this, as you can see I've just converted this to a button, I've just repeated the steps that we did for uh, image two. So now we'll have all these button all these images that just fade in like so. And you could stop there and leave it at that, but I'm gonna show you how to make an autoplay button as well. And to do that we're just going to copy uh, we're gonna go to images and we're just gonna copy all these frames apart from the first one. <laughs>